It's been a year since our flood occurred and destroyed the infrastructure on site at Scotty's Castle. And so we have been working towards uh, planning for the future. And one of the things that we realized while we were conducting this planning was that we would have to move the collections for a number of reasons. And these included uh, complications due to the loss of our water system, the loss of electricity, and the loss of a good number of staff who helped care for this collection. Quite a bit of work has been done on site to prepare for the repair of our infrastructure and our buildings and to care for our museum collections. We're planning on improvements from what the castle was like before the flood, but we're also looking at keeping the historic nature of the collection intact and the buildings and the site, of course. Our collections are being moved as we film and we are approximately two months into that move. Uh, the collections will be moved to a professional, state-of-the-art museum storage facility where they will be very well cared for and still accessible to the curation division to allow us to remove objects for conservation projects that we will be undertaking in the next three years while the castle is closed. This flood, this move has allowed us to actually see all of our collections out of storage, out of cupboards, and to document it. In addition to describing it, a lot of it had never been described, so that information will be available to research. These curtains um, have been in storage for years and they're really quite lovely. They're from the lower music room. Uh, they were taken off exhibit a couple of decades ago, actually, um, mainly because of the deterioration. So you can see along here how the fabric is pulled away from the, the binding and there was an attempt at conservation at some point. Uh, this is a re relatively modern fabric, and uh, it was unsuccessful. So the curtains were put into storage. Um, this is one of the things that we're hoping to remedy while the castle is closed down. We're hoping to have a lot of conservation work done on things like curtains that are severely damaged so that we can put them back um, in the rooms they were originally intended to be in and uh, for those curtains that are too damaged, we're hoping to have them reproduced. So in addition to conservation projects that will be undertaken for museum collections, we are also going to do some work on the buildings. And um, this is an example of the uh, problems that we're seeing in the building. This one is because of water intrusion, uh, some of it through this door, um, some of it through the wall itself. Um, and uh, we'll be repairing areas like this. Uh, we will also be putting in door sweeps um, at the tops of the doors and down through the sides and at the bottom. This will help with rodent control, but also with uh, controlling abrasive dusts which are coming into the building. So another area that we're working on in the castle is the organ piping. Our work during this time when Scotty's is shut down is taking care of more like things like deferred maintenance, um, projects we wouldn't have time to do on our short service visits. <laughs> We're now being able to do um, some major adjustments to the console and a few reed pipes like the tuba and the trumpet that have been dirty and don't hold tune as well. We're able to take them back and clean them up and get them ready for another 30 or more years of service. The, the, the tone of these is, is uh, produced very much like an orchestral flute. There's a, a, an opening, although in, in this instance it's a rectangle, and the air enters the pipe at the bottom, blows across the opening, and creates, sets up an oscillation very much like blowing over the end of a Coke bottle, if you remember old-fashioned Coke bottles. Is what you get there. 
that's quite a ring. <laughs> There's a wooden one, it, it's, it's just made out of wood, but it has exactly the same process. The air enters at the bottom and blows across this opening, but quite a different tone. This work is being funded by private donations from the Death Valley Natural History Association, to which we're very grateful. They support not only our maintenance work here, but also organ recitals and just generally keeping the organ going and in good condition so many visitors can enjoy it each year. It's not just a house in the desert, it's everything that went into building this place and the people who went into building it, in addition to the people who lived here. Um, there are so many stories that can be told from this, this building, this site. Um, there are stories of, of the miners who came through here, of um, the railway that came to Bonnie Claire. There are stories here of the Depression and the people who came here to work because they couldn't find work elsewhere, and the people who lived in the area, the Native Americans, the, the Timbisha Shoshone, and the Paiutes who came and lived on site and worked here. There are a lot of stories that can be told here that are not perhaps unique to Scotty's Castle, but when they're brought all together, they make for a very important story of our history.